Hey everybody, welcome back to uh, another episode of Jeff Talk. Um, I'm not going to lie, before I uh, did this, I was cleaning my laptop with my son's pants. Um, now, the reason I bring this up and I tell you is because you gotta find a good, you got to find a good way to get use out of all your kids' clothes. The reason I say this is because, you know, you, you have a baby. I love kids. As you guys know, I've told you about my kids before in some videos. Um, I love them, and I want more. Um, but the thing with that is that um, it's a bitch. And the reason I say it's a bitch is because you go out and you buy like a pair of uh, let's baby clothes, three month old baby clothes. It's gonna cost you like twenty, thirty bucks. Okay, well I'm gonna use them for like a month, maybe two months. Then your baby grows out of it. That's such stupid garbage bullshit. You know I can go out like this shirt for example. Okay, go buy this shirt. Um, cost me like ten bucks and it's gonna last me like years. What the fuck? Baby clothes are so expensive. Like you feel like you. It's the biggest waste of money ever, but you don't have a choice. They fuck you. You do not have a choice. You have to buy baby clothes. You're not going to let your baby, like, fucking grow up without clothes though its whole life. Well, I mean, you could, but that wouldn't be very good parenting. You see? So I took these pants right here. I don't really know what they have on them. They got, let's see. It's a penguin by the looks of it. Um, and I clean my laptop with it. See, I'm getting more use out of it. I don't have to go out and buy, like, a rag or use... Oh. Sorry, it's a shirt. It's not pants. It's a shirt. Um, anyways, I don't have to go out and buy myself some paper towel or rag because I'm my laptop. I'm just going to use this nice soft shirt because I need to get more use out of my 30 fucking dollars I paid for this shit. Um, which brings me to something else, okay? Relationships. Fuck you, relationships. You get into a relationship and a lot of times it fucking sucks, all right? You're, you're going to find somebody and they're going to treat you like absolute shit, absolute garbage and stuff like that. And then you don't want to be with them anymore, but stuff happens and you get scared and you just can't leave them. I get that. Well, here's the thing. Okay? Happiness is out there. Everybody deserves happiness, but this is what I say to happiness is a lot of times go fuck yourself. Because to be happy, you have to like wait for a lot of stuff. You have to wait for people and stuff like that well okay love's worth waiting for love is worth fighting for so anybody out there who is in a situation where you love somebody you truly love someone or truly want to be with somebody but they're with somebody else or it's complicated or something like that don't give up on them give them a chance like just bear with them bear with them come on you just you gotta feel their insides you gotta get in there you gotta try to see how they feel okay um don't a lot of people out there have kids by accident, stuff like that. Don't be afraid to tell your kid they're an accident, okay? You're going to love them the same whether they're an accident or not. Like, you're not going to give birth to someone and be like, um, you're an accident, so I, I just I just don't want to take care of you anymore. Okay, that doesn't actually happen. If you don't take care, you don't want to take care of your kids, you always get put up for adoption or please try not to have abortions, people. Abortions are, they're, they're shit. It doesn't deserve to die because of a mistake you made or something um anyways back to what i was saying baby clothes expensive as fuck like why do we go out and spend thirty dollars on a pair of like pants or shirt or onesie or a sleeper or something like that well, we're gonna use it for two months you know why because we love you kids you guys are little fuckers but we love you and you're gonna have to pay us back one day for all this shit that we bought you growing up because you guys are little puke stains um my kids, um, I love you, so if you watch this, um, this is direct to everybody's kids but you. You guys are perfect. I love spending money on you. Yeah, right. A anyways, um, in all seriousness, though, um, I'm going to go jump back to the relationship thing. Um, <sighs> I, you know what? It's too hard. It's really hard because relationships are tough. You get in those ones that then the guy or the woman screw with you mentally and shit like that and your head's in the worst spot ever and you can't get out you know you don't want to be there but you can't get out i've been there before so i know how people out there feel and um i feel for you i do um it's always nice to know that there's someone there for you someone that cares someone that loves you there's people out there that love everybody and who care and stuff like that and that's the way life is going to be everybody's going to get in a shitty situation in life everybody is nobody doesn't get in a shitty situation so don't think that you're the only one going through this because you're not um 
people are there for you and they always will be there for you, whether it looks like they're not. Um, it's tough. It really is tough. I went through that. I couldn't get out. I tried harder and harder to make it work when it really should. I shouldn't have. I should have stopped a long time ago. You know what? We're not going to talk about that. We don't need to because it's in the past. Um. Anyways, um, people that are out there, out there that have kids, um, kids are great. Kids fucking drive you nuts. Kids, they change your life. It's always for the better. A lot of people think having kids ruins your lives. It doesn't. All those parents out there that are like, yeah, I get it. There's 14-year-olds, 15-year-olds having kids. It is going to screw up your life for a lot of, of it. You're like, But at the same time, it's not. You guys got to realize, you have kids. You can still go out. You can still have fun. You're not 24-7 with your kids. People will babysit, stuff like that. You can still live your life. Yeah, it's not how you planned it. But trust me, kids do make your life better. And you know, it do, is hard if you're a woman. You get pregnant and the guy fucked off and leaves. Um... It, that shit sucks, and I'm sorry that you guys go through that. Not all guys are like that. Um, fuck all you guys, though, that are like that. You ruin it for all the good guys. But, like, uh, like I kinda. Fuck you, Roger Federline, or whatever the fuck your name is, Britney Spears' old husband. You, you're, you're probably like one of the biggest downfalls. You fucked everything up. You fucked up Britney Spears, made her shave her head. You fucked up, like, fuck you. R fuck you, Roger Fairline. I think that's his name. If if that's not his name, can somebody please correct me? Because I I know it's Fairline, right? Yeah, I think it's Roger. Or yeah, I'm sticking with Roger. But um, don't give up on love, people. Um, know that there's people out there that do love you very, very much. Um. There is people that have to go through a lot by themselves without their parents, um, shit like that, and that shit sucks. It sucks. Um, hold on a sec. This, okay. Bought this for my son. My son's almost six months. Boom. My first words. Okay, well, that's great, okay? My first words is great. I'm gonna open the book, show you what's inside. Apple. Strawberry. Ooh. Okay. Flower. Sun. Ooh. These are toughies. Trumpet. Uh, and a rabbit. Okay, you know that's the end of the book. Okay. Luckily this thing only costs buck twenty five. Bought it at the dollar store. Go to the dollar store. Um Seriously, how long is he going to use this for, though? Am I going to get a buck twenty-five out of this shit? I don't really think so. It's pretty fucked up. Um, why can't it say, like, apple bunny, strawberry slut bunny, um, flower crazy uh, devil, sun, like, fucking homo bird, and trumpet, and... I don't even think that's Sylvester. That's like some new cat or something. What the hell is this? And then you could say rabbit and dumb coyote that thinks it's gonna catch the bird one day. I don't know. Like this, this shit. Like, <laughs> like you can educate your kids better. Um, growing up, you know, there's a lot of stupid kids out there. <laughs> okay. Anyways, um. <laughs> Bathe your kids, wash your kids, please. Um, there's a lot of stinky kids out there. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, so... Once again, I want to uh, apologize to that person who asked for a request for me to do something. Like that. that shit's going to take too long. It's going to take me like 24 hours at least to do what you're asking for. Um, I'm always accepting requests. Any type of video you want to hear, I'm... Uh, here to I'm here to do it um anything you want to hear um yeah a lot of you may notice lately in my videos I uh bad mouth somebody I mouth them off and shit like my last video I bad mouth Britney Spears uh Miley Cyrus this time Roger Federline if that is his name <laughs> um I I don't give a fuck these are the people that are screwing up people's lives Roger Federline is uh 
Like Chris Brown. Fuck you too, Chris Brown, you piece of shit. You motherfucking woman abusing, cock sucking, monkey turd, ass flinging, monkey licking, dog sucking, vag cleaning bag. Um. <laughs> anyways, anyways, uh, thanks for watching another episode of Jeff Talk. Uh, I would really love to hear from you guys once again. And, uh,. For requests, I appreciate all you guys who uh, watch my videos constantly. Um, and I will be back with another episode of Jeff Talk. You like the whoops, wrong way? You like the stuffies? Stuffies are pimp! That gives me an idea. Next episode, I'm going to show you a crazy pot, uh, stuffy. Uh, you're going to love it. It makes me laugh, it makes everybody laugh. Um, anyways, for now, peace out. I love you all. Uh, 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 peace.